Uh, yeah, y'all know what time it is. What's up, what's up? Hey, welcome to National Sports Chat. And for those who actually tuned in to my last video, I appreciate it. Even if you disagree with what I said, you know, you left a comment, you like, if you dislike it, you know, I appreciate you all. You know, um, I mean no harm by what I say, you know what I'm saying? But I'm here to let y'all know I'm not running or hiding behind, you know, any camera. So I, I want to address some of the, the issues or the comments that you guys have, you know, as far as with me saying uh, anything about the officiating. So before I get started, you know, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel. Like I said, whether you agree or disagree, it helps me grow. This channel is for everybody. The sports company, National Sports Chat, is for everybody. You know, um, y'all need somebody to cover y'all game. Make sure y'all tune in. Uh, call, call me. Uh, leave a um, a message uh, in my email at nscsports99 at gmail.com. And let's get to some of the comments uh, right now. And let's see what uh, some of y'all had to say. And I'll, I'll address it while, while I'm on here. Okay. So the first one I had was Timothy Wilson. And basically he didn't, he didn't really, uh, I, he's, he's one of the ones that didn't agree with me. Uh, Timothy said, I was at the game, real talk. Them folks got our coach in bad. Bad calls are part of the game. That's what y'all should be teaching these kids. Bad calls went, went both ways. Outlaws just made more plays than them folks. ABA got behind and went into panic mode. They beat them last year too, and they cried cheating. Shaking my head, y'all need to grow up. This eight year old football. Teach them kids to leave the egos out of it. Losing is a part of life. And Timothy, you are absolutely right. But here's the thing, cheating don't have to be a part of life. Losing is definitely a part of life, but cheating is not. You know what I'm saying? And then here's the thing that a lot of people kept missing. I said I had no horse in the race. So while y'all sitting up there associating me with ABA, which is a great organization, such as um, the Twin City Outlaws, which is the reason we were at the game. That was, for us, a game of the week, so it was worth being there. You know, a lot of people think that, oh, well, you just saying that or you got paid. Some people said that I got paid. Some people said that uh, I just can't take a loss. I had no horse in the race, so I'm not losing. I'm there to see a, a great game, and I feel like with the bad officiating, I was robbed of a potential great game because... Twin Cities is a great team. So so as ABA, there are great teams. And, you know, a lot of people undermine a lot of things that I said in that video. Because I, I stated that I had no horse in the race. But people continue to say, y'all, 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 look, man. If the shoe was on the other foot, guess what? Y'all be crying wolf. Oh, how we got cheated. How we got this. How we got that. You know what I'm saying? So just because your team was the one that benefited for the bad calls, don't mean that I shouldn't. it shouldn't be uh, displayed or, or talked about. You know, so let's go to the next one. We got Jasmine. Jasmine said, learn the rules uh, before you said some, someone cheated. You got to score points to win any, any kind of game. Okay. Now, you're absolutely right, but guess what? If you don't understand how a referee or officiating can dictate a game, then you don't know the game. You know what I'm saying? I play sports all my life. I got people that's in the highest level. I would not share their names, but I got people that's in the highest level, made the biggest contracts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know the game. It's just that I, I'm pretty sure that you're talking about the the 10 second uh, delay when they got when uh, officiate called 10 seconds on a kick. Okay, let's say I didn't know, right? 
let's say I didn't know that call. I know that that kid didn't have it in his hand for more than 10 seconds. I know that that call was inaccurate. I know that call was bogus. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not sitting here nitpicking for the sake of the ABA. I'm sitting up here trying to correct bad officiating in general. You know what I'm saying? So if you got a problem with that, I'm sorry. I can't see how you how how you would, because if it was your team, you would be sitting up there. Yes, you right. They cheated. They did this, but your team benefits. So obviously, you're someone that's uh, on the Twin City side. So, okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, we got Black Rain. I I think you meant to say ref, who are a disgrace not disgrace me no i meant to say ref that disgraced me that's exactly what i meant to say so it says sounds so stupid so hurt i have no horse in the race i keep saying that this is what kush pack said i have no horse in the race so how would i be hurt i'm not hurt at all if y'all understand that when i made the video it was directed at referees and officials not because i i i have this sort of uh, emotional con uh, attachment to um, ABA. I have emotional attachment to all kids in general. So let's go to the next one. We got Tax Mahai, Mahal. I'm calling Payola on this. Man barely uh, has a grip on the standards of gridiron vernacular but possesses the audacity to criticize the official. Mere rambling, void of content. First of all, bro, if you want to know, I do a sports I do sports podcasts all the time. Bro, I know about sports. If you want to sit there and do a debate or anything like that, and I welcome you to it. I welcome you to it. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you have a um you you have an attachment, and I'm pretty sure that you are alone or are with the Twin City as well. Because here is the thing: when people are the one that's benefited for bad officiating, it's always one of those things to where I can turn the blind eye. I have the proof. I only played two. That's the thing. If y'all want me to sit there and eat through y'all, I can do that. I can play all, I can show you the offsides that was committed by Twin Cities that they called against ABA. I, then I can show you the, the callback about the ABA because somebody said that I left it out. Uh, they, they called it back when um, the Twin City actually scored. They called a, a holding. They called that playback, right? People basically make, made it seem like I just like left that out miraculously no i did not leave it out i was proving a point and i said that out of 15 calls 12 of them went twin city way now if you can name more than five penalties and you can show me more than five penalties that aba got man I, i'll come film your game for free I'll, I'll do that okay so um how did they cheat the ABA when they're seven, nine, and ten? You won uh, their games. I guess they just cheated that one. That one game, huh? Nope. See, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Carlos Garcia. First of all, you gotta look what I said. I said six U and eight U had the same officiating, had the same officials. And somehow, somehow, when those little babies ran for a touchdown, they called it back on what call? Holding. They was not going to let that team win. Those officiating. They were not going to let that team win. So people want to know how can you dictate a game? I already stated. When ABA was moving the ball, they got to the goal line. Then the calls came in. So... So you allow a team to get to a certain status, like you're not tripping, then you call a call to basically combat that, to make it seem like, oh, okay, so let's say, last okay, so you remember when the Rams, they uh, they played, uh, who was it? The, the Rams, they played New Orleans, 
and then that was a pass interference and they didn't call it and how that play basically ruined the whole game and New Orleans chances of going to the Super Bowl it's the same thing the officiate can dictate who they want to win the game you know what I'm saying especially if they not calling it fair so can't nobody sit there and just make me feel like I'm just tripping. Oh, I'm just, oh, I just won an ABA to win. Bro, it didn't even matter who won. It didn't. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is this. If you, if somebody from Twin City needed me to come film, right? They needed that or whatever. And they compensated for it. Guess what? I can film the game because we are a sports company and we are we are covering the sport. So let's go to the next one. We got uh, we got Dewan Washington. How much ABA paid you, bro? See, that's the thing. Keep people keep insinuating that I got paid by ABA, right? I can insinuate that the ref was paid by that organization, but I'm not I'm not saying that. I'm not gonna say that. Because I don't know. But by the officiating, you know, it wasn't the right cause. That's the thing. I know on every play a call can be made, right? I know that. I'm aware of that. I'm not dumb. I know every play a call can be made. But here's the thing. Don't be selective when, when you decide to actually call a play. If a team is... You know, uh, it's, it's equally good. You should call it neutral. You should be neutral. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. It's a lot of people that comment under there. Uh, I said, not a dollar, bro. We show clips to prove my argument, and we have way more. But subscribe, right? Still subscribe to the channel, even though we disagree or whatever you know what i'm saying this is no knock towards anybody you know i still would like to uh interact with y'all um this like i say uh this is for everybody you know and i, I love i love y'all support but uh let's go to the the next one the one said the past interference play you showed they got the penalty on outlaw plus to say they cheated what about the other two touchdowns? And they wasn't even a threat to score to the last two minutes left and, and couldn't get in the end zone. First of all, they got in the end zone. See, that's what that's why I'm saying what I'm saying. They got in the end zone. The officiate said that they didn't get in the end zone. They were definitely in the end zone. You know what I'm saying? Like that when that guy fell, his whole helmet and shoulder along with the ball was on the, the the line last time i checked when you the ball touches the white line it's a touchdown so that was false and then you said what about the other two touchdowns see here's the thing when you allow a team to get away with something it deflates the other team which is the reason why i said what i said you know what i'm saying as babies it shouldn't be no, oh, you know, they learn the life lessons and this and that. Look, bro, they're going to get life lessons regardless. That's inevitable. But it doesn't have to be in the game to where people should be neutral. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they should be neutral. Um, then I got somebody who said, you basically doing the same thing. You're trying to discredit eight-year-olds that play their hearts out, just like ABA, to earn that win. They don't know nothing about what you're talking about. All they did was show up and play ball. They just shocked the world, and that's all. If it's about the kids, let them enjoy their win. See, that's the thing. It's always about the kids for me. But guess what? That podcast that I did was not about the kids. It was not about the kids. I didn't even send this. To, to none of the, the other coaches because I didn't want the kids to know. I didn't want the kids to really uh, see the podcast or feel feeling like they they slighted or whatever. They slighted the other team. No, because it's, it's not about them. And it's not their fault that they're getting favorable calls. It's not at all. You know what I'm saying? So 
Then in David Brown, he said, I stated that the other big, big referees, um, okay, he stated, he said, he said, understood, but if you're claiming the ref pretty much won the game, then that's how anybody would perceive that officiating was horrible with 9U. If you want to bash officials, go back and look at your videos and see how face masks, penalties were missed, uh, yet and still the better team just won. Now, here's the thing with that. 9U is a whole nother level. It's not even close. 9U, 10 times out of 10, will beat that team. And, like, far as with what you stated with the face mask, uh, I did get, get a couple face masks, uh, penalties that was on there. So I'm not going to sit there and go to the extent that the officiate was as worse as the, the ones prior to the game, you know, prior to that game. Because the ones that I'm addressing are the two big ones who blatantly cheated. Feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's that, man. I mean, I can't read all these. Uh, somebody said refs were horrible. Uh, yeah, Mula, the refs were horrible. Point blank, period. No discrediting kids. But it is what it is. Refs are horrible. I mean, and that's all I'm saying. The ref was terrible. You know what I'm saying? So, if any, if I can hold you... And then I score on that play, and then the the officiate tells you the that's the thing. The official the official said, "Oh, you know, yeah, I should have called that." If you're saying that you should have called it, guess what? Call it. Don't say you should have, and then they benefited by scoring a touchdown. Now you basically deflated the kids. Like, come on, bro, that like, that don't even make sense. And then it says somebody said that. Um, they did old national the same way. So it's not just me having the outcry, you know what I'm saying, or, or saying anything about the officials. It's everybody that goes there that has a problem with your officials. So don't get mad at me. Funny thing is he follow ABA and record all their games. Okay, I've recorded Oakland Dynamites, Milford, East Point, ABA, just so happened to have multiple game of the weeks that I attended. So forgive me for looking for the best games to try to give, you know, the people that follow the channel. Forgive me for that. You know, it just so happened to be ABA, one, uh, one of the teams that are part of it. That's a part of it. Just like they said that you guys were undefeated. I made it my point to come to Columbus. Is there a crime in that? I don't know. So, you know, uh, it is what it is, man. And I just want to, again, thank y'all for uh, even taking the time out, whether you dislike the channel or you like the channel. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just I just hope that you guys continue to uh, support the channel and, and help me grow. Because, like I said, for those who have disagreements, Look, bro, I come out there, I film some games. You know what I'm saying? If y'all need it, uh, I'm pretty far. You know, I'm pretty far or whatever. But, I mean, like, I have no dislike. I don't even really know. I try to get to know a couple, couple coaches. And that's the other reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can go to the game if you ask. I, I've talked to old national coaches. I've talked to uh, Milford coaches. I've talked to East Point coaches. I've talked to Walton coaches. I've talked to, um, uh, what is it, Best Academy coaches. I've, I've talked to several coaches. And my thing is to get the brand out there so I can have more coverage for you guys. You know what I'm saying? But then we also do podcasts. So it was just something that I wanted to express, you know, as far as officiating. Now, did I believe that I would get the backlash that I've gotten? No. But, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying?
But like I said, man, for those who actually even took the time to watch it, man, I appreciate y'all. I really do. You know, because you didn't have to. You know, even if you disagree. And for that gentleman that's that's looking for me, like I said, go to our Instagram at National uh, Sports Chats with an S at the end and leave a direct message and I'll give you a call. I'll give you a call. You know what I'm saying? And and we can have that talk that you that you're looking for. But that's all I got for now. It's your boy Ken and I'm out.